Tozani Tozani, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome. If you are a new one, welcome once again. Please don't drop please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like the video share the video if it speaks to you or if it, you feel it may speak to somebody else um and interact in the comments i'm also on social media i'll share my instagram and my facebook details as well as my whatsapp numbers for anybody who wants to book a session or just has like just a question they want to ask me um today's video is basically about spirituality in general and how to look at it from a modern perspective from um a modern perspective being now the time we live in now so i realized with a lot of people who come and consult and they find out that they're gifted and all of that it becomes a the minute they hear they're gifted it becomes so much to deal with it's like i've put a ton of bricks on their shoulders or on their head even and that's not what it is supposed to be so um i normally share this with them so i just thought you know i might as well share it with everybody so that you can have a different perspective on what um spirituality is in an easy to understand way in a way that's been broken down and you, that's palatable it's in tiny pieces that you can understand and you can live every day without feeling like oh my god am i doing something wrong is this right and those kinds of things so i always like to say to people whether you're gifted um whether you're not gifted and you come and consult and for instance there's just you there's a lot happening and you don't understand why this is what i always say that life for me is like this it's a pipe like so probably about that wide of a pipe and in this pipe it is not a closed system so things can come in and things can go out so it's not just like a self-sustaining system because as human beings we need other people we meet other people we're not isolated beings so with this pipe um like any pipe you need to keep it maintained the minute there's a blockage there is a problem we all know when your toilet pipe has a blockage or your drain pipe has a blockage it makes life hell and the same applies in terms of spirituality so now you have this pipe and you're living your life your pipe is pretty clear water is flowing gosh life is moving you know it's making sense for you cool and then oh sorry sorry my neighbors are coming up um so this pipe for the most part was easy flowing water whatever blood whatever you want to call it was flowing easy now because we're not isolated beings you go to work you meet people or your family members or whatnot and they become jealous or for whatever reason moto about your whole lawyer or attempt whole lawyer or whatever the case and that's basically them throwing in something in that pipe that will block your pipe your pipe must always be free flowing because if it's free flowing things happen blessings come and all of that but now when somebody intentionally goes out of their way and puts for instance newspaper down your drain it may yes it may flow 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 for a bit but somewhere somehow we're not anymore where it just like stops and it clogs up so now you've got this long pipe and there's a blockage here this is going forward this is the direction you're coming in so eventually you get to this place here and there is this huge crunched up newspaper here you can't you can't just move through the newspaper because it's crunched up it's taken most of the space in your pipe what do you do in fact when that blockage occurs that's when you hear people saying ah my life is not going well i feel so stagnant and things like that what's going on something is off things like that you come and you consult great then now i tell you what there's a new so now i'm the plumber 
There is a newspaper stuck here. You need to get rid of this newspaper. And once you get rid of this newspaper, life can continue again. You say to me, oh, okay, how do I get rid of this newspaper? So depending on your situation, it may just be a situation yesterday while I show or a situation for river cleansing or a situation maybe if somebody's trying to do things with your car, which is what people are trying with mine now. Um, but yeah, it's done for another day. Um, then I'll tell you, okay, this is what you need to do, sharp. We do whatever it is that needs to be done. Now, me, the plumber, I've come, I have opened a little something here and more, pulled out the newspaper, gapecha, and I sealed, and your pipe is free flowing again. So when you leave after the cleansing, after you come to the Duma or whatever the case may be, now I left, or you left me with the understanding that your pipe is flowing. This is the tricky part. Or oh, this is what most of us, where most of us, including myself, make the mistake. Your pipe is flowing and then warilexa. You just relax. You are not cleaning out your pipe, you are not maintaining your pipe, or you are not checking for any damage, you are not checking for, you know, things possibly stuck and all of that, and it messes you up to the point where your pipe gets stuck again. How do you maintain this pipe that is your life? You maintain your pipe through prayer, through speaking to Badi Mubahal, through understanding your life, listening to your body, listening to your senses, listening to your energy, communicating Badi Mubahal, and then communicating with you via dreams. But these things can't, so for instance, Badi Mubahal can't really communicate with you via your dreams if your pipe is stuck. That's how in this newspaper there's bits and pieces so they will squeeze the stream in and squeeze it. By the time it gets to the other side, you wake up remembering what I had a dream about what nobody knows. Cause your pipe is not free flowing. So basically what I'm saying, let me recap it again. Your pipe, when you're not praying, when you're going up and picking up energies and um, just basically living, coming um, in contact with other energies, other people and things like that, your pipe gets bits and pieces stuck on the edges. So, or around the pipe rather. So things being stuck around the pipe, they tend to build up as time um, goes. So what was a little thing, another thing attaches to that, another thing attaches, another thing attaches, and before you know it, it's become your pipe is full of like dirt, grease and grime, and there's only this much space to go through. So with that much space to go through, for instance, you are looking for a job, and now your pipe is here, and it's now this this narrow now the dream not the dream the job comes through it comes through it comes through and you get the job right because it managed to squeeze through this gunk and all this mess and all of that stuff now what comes attached with the dream or what follows a dream um not the dream the job sorry is the salary so the increase the better benefits and all of that that comes with the job now that follows through, but now that's a bigger chunk of stuff. And your pipe is now here. What could have been this is now this. So now this big chunk gets stuck. So a little bit of it manages to pass through. And when that little bit manages to pass through, you're not, you're not, you get the job, but you're not happy at the job. You're not seeing what the money was supposed to do for you initially when you wanted um, the job because you were never maintaining your pipe. And maintaining your pipe is praying, staying prayed up. You stay clean, you cleanse yourself, you speak to your ancestors, you do, you go to church, you listen to gospel, you sort of make sure that um, you're always checking for defects or checking for any dirt and whatnot stuck in there because 
when you're maintaining that, when somebody comes and throws a wrench in your, um, your pipe, you quickly pick that up because you're always checking. So if you're not always checking, you're not always paddling, you're not always praying, you do it like, you do your maintenance check every three months, that wrench that somebody threw three months ago will be causing havoc and a blockage in your life. Once it causes a blockage, then only you realize, oh, no, something is off, let me go consult. And by the time we find out, this wrench has caused this, this pile up of the things that were supposed to happen in your life that never happened anymore so spirituality is like that you have to keep it going you have to maintain it and things like that you cannot expect to go to a healer or um people that are gifted as well you being told that you're gifted and you relax you don't maintain your pipe just because you find out you're gifted all it's saying is that you need to now you find out that you've got this pipe and you've got little your pipes branch off so now you have a little bit more work than the average person does so you need to maintain your stuff a little bit differently or more intense um, intensely versus a normal person who's not um, spiritually gifted or spiritually inclined but we tend to hear that we're gifted and we relax and we don't even maintain this pipe which is our lives let alone all those other pipes that are connected to body how are you going to get dreams when your pipe is clogged up how are you going to get proper communication when your pipe is clogged up that's why things happen for you happen for you and they stop because you were never maintaining from the get-go so when it comes to spirituality i guess what i'm trying to say is that spirituality requires you to actually put in the work if you're not putting in the work you cannot expect for things to just happen for you overnight you need to maintain you can't use a healer or iswash or any of these things behind us as a way of you maintaining all of these awesome products behind me are ways um sorry not maintaining a ways of you cleaning out the mess all of these products you use while you are maintaining so these products will be your bicarb bicarbonate of soda that you put in when you feel horrid, you know what the pipe is getting a little congested and things like that it would be that boiling water you put in your pipe hema furaikara astagila on the sides these um products are to assist you within maintaining these are tools that you can use but you only use tools when you actually put in the actual work you can't just get all the tools keep them there and expect the tools to do the work for you and that's the issue with a lot of people that come and consult um people find out when so many things have happened but had they just maintained from the get-go i think things would have been like so much more different for them so i actually wanted to just to do this quick video to um get people to understand that these are the realities um of spirituality and how to live a modern life and understand what it is to keep up with your spirituality in a very easy little story of the pipe so you cannot have peace when your pipe is blocked so you need to actively do all the things that i mentioned research ask questions understand so that you know how to better maintain your pipe you know all the products that work well for your pipe kind of thing so if you don't do that you will always sort of be um you're working on fixing you're always fixing you're not achieving before you fix you must always be there must be a problem then you fix then after you fix something comes you don't always have to fix but that requires being dedicated to maintaining your pipe and when you're spiritually gifted or spiritually inclined you have more pipes that you need to maintain so you need to figure out a way of how to balance that and it is not an impossible task at all there's days where yes you cannot maintain every day but if you sort of pace yourself and time yourself you'll be able to maintain your life and your pipe properly 
so that's just the gist of this video i sincerely hope you understood what i was trying to the message i was trying to put across and you enjoyed the video and it was helpful um thank you so much don't forget to hit the subscribe button like the video share and please please interact i really appreciate you coming to visit me on my channel once again if it's your first time please do um come back again <laughs>